Hi everybody, this is Tanya Pizzolato. Welcome to my channel, Shimmering Tarot. We have an unboxing, well, it's a side-by-side -side and an unboxing of the fourth edition of the Bohemian Gothic Tarot. So here is the two different sizes, the fourth edition. So look how big this is. I have all of them but the first edition. So, once you see the difference between the sizes. So these, this one comes in a bag. They all came wrapped with um, inside uh, those pop, not popcorn, but foam pieces just to keep it from running around you know, protect it. And then the outside's like really protected with like ceram wrap and then the bubble wrap around that. So this is the fourth edition. This is the third edition. We got out the regular size, but here is the mini. Is exactly the same you're seeing from the beginning this one you saw from the end so let's get the boxes out of the way here is the second edition so let me show you these are in the back second third fourth edition and it says Momentum Mori. So this is really important. It's telling you death is inevitable. So stop wasting your life fearing the future, regretting the past, what you could have done different. Live. Do the best you can. Enjoy your life. Don't keep yourself stuck in worry and fear. You, you only have this life. So This life is this life. And... It seems really short, you know, except for when you're a kid. Then it seems very slow. Now, this is the silver edition, which is sort of like this one. See, they have this uh, stamp pressing, cold, and makes it shimmer. Oh, it's just so beautiful. This has the back like the second and first edition does. And this is called the pewter edition. Now, I think the perfect edition would be, you know, with this uh, cold stamping, with the pewter edging. I, I would just think that would be great. The third edition, fourth edition, like that. Perfect. I really love the backs of this. I love the backs of this too. But I also really love the backs here. You know, with this silver and black. Okay. So, I just want to give you, you know, a look so you can take a look. So, this card has an extra card. The Memento Mori. So there, you can see the full very good. I figured this way you can see the changes in all the editions because some have changed a lot. So there, here's the full. Now we've got the magician. Okay, the magician is the same. Oh, he looks, you know. The face looks different. Pretty close, but a little bit different, you know.
Now the high priestess. Very, very similar. But you can see some very different images in a moment, you know. Try to keep this nice and straight. Here is the Empress. But you're going to see some very big changes in this fourth edition pretty soon. Okay, now we have the Emperor. This is the silver one. The face it the face is very close. It's the shirt that's different in this one. It's black. It's the, and it's black here, but purple in those other two. The hair fent. These two look purple, the, the robe, and these three look so very blue. Now, in this third edition, we have two different lover's cards. I put them both in so you could see them. This one looks more sinister, but I like th I like this one better. <sighs> the picture is clearer in the fourth edition because it's just so huge, and I love that shimmering cold stamping on it. Okay, so let's switch it over so we get to the next card. The Chariot. The chair looks the same except it's very different here in the um, fourth edition. Instead of the, this person we have, well, it's, it was still person, but now it's just the skeleton. And you see, you know, they think, oh, this might be better, this color better. Here we are with the strength card. But you know, some of these images are just so perfect, you wouldn't want to change them at all. I like this strength card. Now we're on to the hermit. Now they put this beard on him, it makes him look like the more traditional hermit, you know, with that white hair. Very clouded in the silver and pewter editions. So there is the hermit. I like the updated hermit. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, I I enjoy these cards. So much. I I use them all the time. All the editions. Okay, now the Wheel of Fortune. Mm -hmm. 
You know, it is hard to, I mean, look how big this card is. It is the size of my hand. The whole hand. But the great thing about the large card is that you can see it so clearly. Look how clear her face is to us. I mean, it is drawn a little bit different, the face. The face is drawn a little softer. So now we have the justice. There's some writing, Malebs, Malefica, S something, V, M, Malay. Looks the same, except, you know, with the cold stamping. I love that cold stamping. I'm glad lately they've been making all the decks with the cold stamping. This is by Baba Studios. So I think they still have the regular edition of this on um, the website. You can always find it on eBay or some the older editions on eBay or um, Etsy. Hangman. Now look, the... Hangman has changed. Not, not as much, but something about him looks so different to me. I can't tell what it is. He looks more emaciated, I think. He's not so much in the shadow. The death card. The death card is holding an hourglass here. I think it reminds me more of that saying that Memento Mori. That, you know, life is precious. It has a time clock on it. Don't fret over the things you can't change. You know, the past is gone. The future's not here. Do the best you can. Do your best planning. But, you know, don't make let it make you paralyzed. Enjoy your life. There's always going to be things we're going to think, oh, we could have done better. But that's here and gone. So now here she has a uh, very long hair. And this one, you can see her dress reflected in the water. This one, you can't. Kind of. I like the, I like this in the back. The statue with the water coming out of the mouth. I don't know, I think that is cool. So they all have that statue, except this one. But I do like the irises in this one. And I love the longer hair. Now there's other people out there just like me who just love this deck. I love th this version of the devil card. Addiction is such a perfect image for it. A and this is so perfect. The devil does not have to be a male masculine figure. 
The devil's inside of all of us. So it can be androgynous, feminine, anything. And it's not just addiction. It's vanity. You know, get hooked on our own ego. We abuse things, each other. We can always change that if we want to. Now the tower. So the tower looks very similar in all these except the color in these two. They have purple where it's red on these. And the lightning is very important in this card. That's for enlightenment, you know. The things you learn about, you know. We fear this tower gives us this feeling of chaos, change, upheaval. And, you know, as humans, we hate change. So we cling on to th keep, try to keep things the same. And that is where you, you get this craziness. The enlightenment comes when you realize change is going to happen whether no matter what we do. I'm like, where? She, that doesn't look right. Okay, here she is. So very similar. Ah, but they covered up her nipples. I like that. This one has a two, because I know I'm always covering up the private parts. But I won't do that to this deck, these decks. You know, I have decks that are rare, and I'm just not gonna cover, put anything on them. The moon is missing in this one. Not in the bag. I love that moon and with the wolf, so incredibly beautiful. I think, you know, having this big card, the images are sort of clear. They're just be beautiful. You can see them so well. You can see this person off in the distance really well now the sun and look they have they're not showing us any sunflowers but these kind of look remind me of sunflowers right there Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, they have it in all of them. If I see it really good, the rays of sun coming through. Judgment. So judgment looks so completely different. It's not just a man and a woman. Look how emaciated that man is. But here we have this beautiful angel with her wings just really stretching upwards, you know. And her blowing her horn. Oh, look, he's back over there. I didn't even see him. I like the altar, this altar. Because some of the images are a little too dark that you don't see them so well. So the world. Very beautiful. You can see the skulls really well in this. So Ace of Cups. 
looks the same. It took me 20 minutes to get through the Major Arcana. Two of Cups. Very romantic. Oh, here's the Dance Macabre in this one. He looks more modern in this uh, silver edition. More old fashioned here with the cape kind of coat. Little tweaks here and there. Three of Cups. Very similar. Yep. Four of Cups. Oops, I forgot to put these away so I can't even see the four cups. Five of cups. So you can see this woman's face much more. I don't know. I kind of like the older, the... This, it's like we're at a cemetery here. So I kind of like this one better, the older version. Six of Cups. Very similar. The image has changed here. Looks like Madonna and child here. Just a woman here. <laughs> oh, that's very similar to the Seven of Cups. I love the look on this woman's face. Very uh, sneaky. Uh, you know, like, not sneaky, but like, it's kind of devious. She's thinking about all these choices she has. Some of them are naughty. And it's putting this delicious smile on her face. So this one is much more colorful, the Eight of Cups. I love the wolves in this. I, I have to pick the newer version for this one. Put the wolves in there, and the image is great for walking away. This works, too, for walking away, too. More gothic looking this way, but, oh, the wolves are so beautiful. Nine of Cups. It looks like they're drinking absinthe, but they're very different looking. Even their tables are different looking. You know, they're still, you know, doing their work, having a cocktail. Maybe this guy looks like he's got some soup, but it's at his work table, it looks like. Same, same. Ten of Cups looks exactly the same, except the jacket is way more red and the shirt is purple instead of blue. Page of Cups. 
very similar. The Knight of Cups. Here's Mr. Prince Charming. He's also looks like he's got some. Oh, it's a medal in his hand there. It's here too, but I could I thought it was flowers or something instead. Could not tell. Queen of Cups looks the same. More macabre looking in the uh, silver edition. But it looks the same in all the others. King of Cups. So we got Nosferatu in this one for the King of Cups. I think this one goes over here. Where are the pinnacles over here? Okay. Pentacles look exactly the same. All of the skull and crossbones on the top of the building. Just very lighter. And you can see the moon has this opening in the clouds really well. The same with the little it looks like a pug yes three of pentacles we have frankenstein his monster on it looks like he's unwrapping himself A little bright. I think the fourth edition has a lot more brightness overall, period. Four Pentacles. Yes. Very similar. Five of Pentacles, one with their children. They look isolated, like they need stuff. Six of Pentacles. Here's this man showing some charity, giving them some money. He's got it in his hands right there. Oh, it looks similar, but it looks more masculine in the new edition. Maybe it's androgynous. Looks as similar in the third. Haven't examined it this closely before, you know. Seven of Pentacles. Totally similar. Eight of Pentacles. She worked hard to get to get that doll.
Very similar, all of them. Yeah. Very similar, except brighter. And you can tell the falcon, you can see the falcon better with its um, falcon uh, eye covers here. Covers its head. Ten of Pentacles. See here you can see the multi-generational, like father, son, or daughter, grandfather, the dog. Very similar. I don't know, for some reason in the bigger one, I thought he was lifting his leg to pee. Page of Pentacles. Now they made the Page of Pentacles look absolutely angelic with this um, calla lily flowers and the white dress and the white ribbon in the hair. In Eastern cultures, white is this color of death. Knight of Pentacles. He's totally headless in the Knight of Pentacles. They changed the way he's facing, or her, in the new Knight of Pentacles. The older ones are looking to the past, the new ones looking to the future. Queen of Pentacles. Very similar, just brighter. This one's so similar, just brighter. But I'm glad I did this way so I could see them all together. My husband has been buying these for me for birthday presents as they'd come out. Ace of Wands. Oh, here we have the Dance Macabre in this deck before the Ace of Wands. This guy is getting down. He's having a good time. more gray in this newer version. Two of Wands. So very similar, but in the new edition, the fourth, the guy's like right in the, and the third, pretty much right in our face. The female character looks uh, different in this card. Her face is covered. She's not as transparent as she is in like here. Still seems just more ethereal here, here. Three of Wands. It's 
everything looks very same except the hair color looks lighter four of wands totally the same the puppy looks so cute looking at its, its mistress give me command I have two Four of Wands in the new deck. So we have one that's so completely different. I love the horse, but I love the dog in this one. I probably use the, the, this one. I do love horses, but Five of Wands. Look at this. This is a great image for the Five of Wands. Sometimes we compete with people in our heads. Here we have this competition and this person is competing with dead people. It's like, you know, competing with those people that you let in your head. Such an awesome image. I love that. Six of Wands. Totally the same except brighter. The horse is brown with the reddish brown hair. This character totally makes me think of the movie, not movie, TV show Evil. That ca character George. Stay where you're supposed to be. Two six of ones. Eight of Wands. <laughs> Very blue in this. I think the new, the newer edition is very uh, light. Not as macabre, you know? <laughs> Eight of Wands. <laughs> Seven of Wands. <laughs> totally similar. Just the, a lot of the color has changed. Forgot to move these <laughs> out of the way. So we get our page of Wands. So these two uh, down, oh, I didn't get them out of the way. Page one, the little girl with the little boy in the back playing violin. In the third edition, he's so tiny. And the second edition. Knight of Wands. Here's our player. He just wants to sample everybody. Get in everybody's panties. Or pants or boxers, whatever they are. It's 
So this one looks completely the same, except for the silver edition. She's got like this white wig on. Oh, and in the second edition. King of Wands, so bright, but no little, oh, it's not a little boy, it's a man there. Ace of Swords. I love, I love that uh, cold stamping. Yeah, just lighter, bigger. This person has a robe. This person's shoulders are bare. Three of Swords, Broken Heart, we got a dove with its mate, dove mate dead and the blood dripping down. So sad. See it there really well, Heartbreak. Four of Swords. Taking its rest. There's a crow on it. Like, better rest good. I might help, have, help, have to help you over. Cross over. Five of Swords. This looks more like a werewolf. This looks like a guy with a mask on. <laughs> Same up here. Look at this one. Doesn't look like a werewolf at all. <laughs> it just looks like a very hairy dude with dog ears. Six of Swords. Leaving the choppy waters for smooth waters. Are crossing the river Styx. Seven of Swords. I mean, look at this. This is here. We got this child with this very look uh, sacred book with the pentacle on it. Totally perfect image. Sneaking this book out, you know. Like I know I'm not supposed to be taking this out of the house or out of the library or the church. Where you know your special place where you worship. Eight of Swords. So they all look pretty much the same, except for this new one. She's in this lavender dress, and her face kind of looks harsh. I like the flowers on her head. The dress kind of reminds me of Lily Munster. The other four look the same. Nine of Swords. So innocent looking. And showing their anxiety. Like being that they look so young, they shouldn't be having that, that anxiety. Uh, looks like they've been watching scary movies or something. 
Well, back then they wouldn't have movies, but, you know, with the ghost flying around above the head. Ten of Swords. This woman looks like she feels very betrayed because she's left behind. Grieving hardcore. Totally the same with all of them. Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Totally the same. More of the same. Knight of Swords. Here they don't have that, you know, the wind flowing in the horse. Showing that action. Queen of Swords. She is fierce, quick-witted. I know people consider her cold, but I consider her like a role model. Don't put up with bullshit, you know? You don't have to smile at everybody's stupid jokes. It's not funny, it's not funny. Here she's smiling with um, bleeding hearts hanging out of her mouth. The flower. I love those flowers. And we're the last card now. The King of Swords. <laughs> the color is just different. It has more gray or lavender in it. <laughs> oh, here's the moon. It was in the back on this one. Okay. Well, I'm glad to know where it is now. It's totally the same. So I hope you enjoyed that, getting to see all these side by side, seeing the differences, the not differences. So this was second, third, fourth, silver, and pewter. The pewter is easy to tell because of the edges. Some of these are going sideways, so it's, but you can see all that silver pewter color. So I hope you enjoyed this. So take care of yourselves and your family. Be good to each other. Be good to yourselves. Very important to be good to ourselves, be good to our family. And take care. So give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. Just wanted to show you the different versions. And I'm sending you all lots of love and kisses and many blessings to all of you. I love you all. Take care. Bye.